Okay, today we are seeing the topic is matrices. So in which we are finding the inverse of a matrix by partitioning method. Okay. So we first of all select one matrix A. That matrix A it may be of order two by two, three by three, or four by four at the most. And we partition that matrix into the four parts. P, Q, R, S. For example, if I take one matrix here of the order three by three, suppose. If I take a matrix A, it is of this type: one, three, two, one, zero, one, zero, one, and suppose three. Now we multiply. Uh, we partition this matrix into the three parts, four parts. How? We can partition this way. This will be the P, Q, R, and S. Or we have one more way of partitioning this. We can partition into this way as well. Again, P, Q, R, S. One more way we are having of partitioning. This is P, Q, R, S. But this is not the right way. What you have to do? Whenever we partition, the first matrix should be a square matrix. So we have two possibilities. One clear area. This is square matrix of order one by one. Or second area is of this type. In the order of square matrix of order two by two. Is it okay? This is condition that when you are whenever you partition, the first matrix should be a square matrix because you have to find out the inverse for that matrix. So that's why that should be a square matrix. Now, after partition into the P Q R S, the inverse will be given by this X Y Z W. Clear? So the order of P and order of X will be same. Order of Q, order of Y will be same. Same as R and Z and S and W, their order will be same. Okay, so whenever we find this matrix, the orders will be resembled to this one. Now we are having a set of formulae. It is already derived, okay, by some rules. So you can check that in the book. So now we'll see here what are the rules. So first of all, to select the P as non-singular matrix, the square to line here, and that should be a non-singular. Non-singular means element should not be equal to zero. That is called as non-singular matrix because we have to find out the inverse. If element is zero, we cannot find out the inverse. So that's why element of P should not be equal to zero. And then later on we find out the P inverse by the formula one upon determinant of P and adjoint of P. Mostly, if I am having that suppose matrix as one by one P, what will be the inverse for this? P inverse equals to One by five, because if I do the multiplication, I should get what is it? Identity matrix. If I multiply p into p inverse, what should I get here? This five into one by five, and this will be what it is? One. Identity matrix of order one by one. Now, if I have it, we are having a matrix of order two by two. Suppose this is we are having in general, I am writing a b c d. Okay. I want to find out the inverse for this matrix by the adjoint method. What I do then? The P inverse will be this one upon determinant of P. That is what AD minus BC. AD minus BC. Is it okay? Now after that, we directly write down the adjoint. How we uh, declare the adjoint here? I just interchange these two elements. It is what B and A. Then changing the sign of non-diagonal. And that is we are having it is minus B and it is minus C. So this is the required inverse. We have got the adjoint directly here. This is one upon determinant of p, and it is adjoint of p. So we can get directly the adjoint of p for two by two matrix. But for three by three matrix, we have to find out it is matrix uh, uh, four vector matrix, and we have to take the transpose of that. Then we will get the adjoint. Okay, here we can go directly. Will get that. Is it clear? I just take a cross multiplication, and then changing the diagonal, changing the sign of non diagonal. This gives us the it is. Uh, inverse of a matrix for two by two. Now we are having this. Uh, we have found out P inverse. After that, our job is to find out T. And T is what it is. R P inverse. Then later on we find out the W now. This W Z Y and X that constitute the inverse. This is the this four are the main formulae. So W is nothing but S minus P Q inverse. So S we are uh, already having. We have just partition that P Q R S. S is there. T just we have found. And then Q, Q is also there in the partition. We just take a subtraction and then we take a inverse. Then after that Z is nothing but minus W into T. W we have found here. This is W and T already in the first step we have got. It is minus W T. The multiplication of this two matrix then multiply by the minus sign. And after that Y equals two. That will be minus P inverse Q W. 
ओके पी इनवर्स योर बॉडी हियर देन क्यू कहां से निकाला है क्यू इज द फ्रॉम द पार्टीशन एंड देन डब्ल्यू जस्ट वी हैव फाउंड हियर दिस इज डब्ल्यू सो जस्ट टेक अ मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ थ्री मैट्रिसेस दिस कैन बी डन मैन्युअली और यू कैन कैलकुलेट इन कैलकुलेटर एज वेल ओके आफ्टर दैट एक्स विल बी इक्वल्स टू पी इनवर्स वाई तो पी इनवर्स वी आर यूजिंग टू टाइम्स हियर ओके द पी इनवर्स द वाई वी आर हैविंग दिस वन जो भी निकाला एंड इनटू इट इज टी टी मतलब ये वाला क्वांटिटी so we have to find out all this matrices by using this multiplication and finding the inverse and putting this value again arranging into that square matrix we will have here the inverse of a matrix is it clear so we are just having a set of formulae to find out the inverse by partitioning method clear